All right, I've taken a short break, but we're back for Red Hot Racing Circuit. Admittedly, the break, other than like 20% just being burned out on green stuff, because time loop, well, I'm also waiting for like a certain cast to be around for that. Um, but also, generally speaking, just like, um, but for Red Hot's case, it's also been focused on other things. League racing, for one, but... Uh, more so, the America's Tour has been a primary focus for me and Tyler lately. Generally speaking, when I'm in a party with him, it seems to either be recording that, or yeah, it's either recording America's tour or I'm watching him play like Rainbow Six. If we're doing anything at all. Sometimes we're just kind of sitting there in the party just like coexisting and not really doing anything. I usually show those. Oops. Yeah. Never says anything interesting. It's kind of like, oh, we're here in this. We're here at this track for this. This is turned into a difficult situation. I don't know what the hell that was, to be honest. Part of it too also kind of came from um, F1 2020, uh, big miss. Um, F1 2020 is coming soon, and there will be a series on that. I've already got most of the plans kind of laid out for myself as for what to do with that game, utilizing its new My Team mode. Um, but the game can has to be out first for that to happen. And that was kind of part of it was like, I just want that to exist, but I realized I should probably finish the season of Red Hot before even pondering that. Also, this lap was garbage. That's like a second off of pole. I guess it's not terrible, but it's also not good considering I'm in the same car as him. So far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 9.6. It's not the setup me, it's just that my timing is off. Because, well, I've only played this game once since the last time I did a Red Hot episode. And, uh, season, or partway through season 2 upgraded cars feel considerably different from... A uh, default car at an online race at a completely Wait, different track from this. Miles per hour. Wow, we're fast.
I thought I heard that. On top of the speed trap with that thing? Well, that was way better than before. Okay, you're in the top ten. Oh, really? Actually, considering how that first lap went, that is probably a bit of a surprise. It's not missed this time. And stop. Beep. Hmm. A little more on par with him. But considering what my engine is, or how my engine is looking right now, ICE and MGU aren't happy at all. Go for it again. Admittedly for um, races following this, I would strong I strongly am considering changing over to one shot qualifying. The only reason why I did not do so is because I've kind of been doing uh, one session for the whole series so far, and I don't really see a reason why that should change now. Also, I was very slow on the draw and changing that over. That's what a curb. Now I'm trying to figure out uh, if Hot Lap or Overtake really does use more ERS. So I noticed that 57 when I hit that DRS sign. Break, make the corner. Flashback though to just before that sign. Oh, yeah, it does. Fuck that. Uh, I missed that. Um, it just kind of confused me. I didn't really know to trust it or not at the time because Like the loading screen hint words it as like You know the higher mode you're in the more it uses Like bar none, but I'm sorry 107. Uh, I cannot do that. that. There is no way I can do that I'm I'm very sorry Kadeem What? We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Hamilton, Bottas, and Roman Grosjean. With qualifying First of all, uh... Of our grid lineup for the big race tomorrow. Thrasher? Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. 
A 20 second sub a, tw a sub 20 second sector 2 that is literally impossible and you can tell because uh, nobody else did that freaking cheater funny because uh, Kadeem isn't even near the top of the standings. He could probably win this race and as long as I finished ahead of Tyler still, it really wouldn't change much. And same thing goes for uh, Nidri, even further down. Like. It's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position Cheater. and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Rojan, Falcon, Max Verstappen, and Norris. You're above where we expected on the grid. Be careful not to lose places, as there will be faster cars around you. Mm. Head itching. Okay, what the heck, Crashing? Oh! Now this key probably feels awfully stupid right now, too. The practice after doing this. All in due time, buddy. Oh! Uh. This is going to be interesting. Okay, now Kadeem, it is time for you to get over here. I am now Scorpion. I was just thinking about the battery too. I haven't charged it all day.
have to hopefully remember to plug it in during the pit cycle. Ooh, okay. I'm not too concerned about me not getting that much closer to Kadeem right now because I am fully aware of the fact that um, the AI at this track more than others is not the greatest with the um, harder compound of tires. Whereas the deficit for me between softs and mediums, the time lost per lap will be much less than it will be for an AI driver, basically. So I should have an okay advantage on mediums, so just basically managing the distance, don't completely lose the plot with Kadeem, and uh, be prepared to offend, or be on the offensive when I get on the medium tires in like 3 or 4 laps. Okay then. Definitely gotten away from um, third on back. So the really I really shouldn't have anyone else concerning me for the remainder of this event. It's just me versus my teammate. Or else if I used up all of my ERS and feel in one go, I could probably catch him now, it kinda looks like. I'm definitely not losing him. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. This is around a sector best or session best sector two, like in English. If I were in like high right now, I'd be up his butt. And probably have DRS on the next straightaway. I'm just kind of not. I can only run the next sector, I might have it anyway. Let's turn up the ERS deployment and burn some of this energy. Okay. Okay. Oh. Is it though? Some information on Verstappen. If that is uh the terminal, the car. I was struck by him talking. That is huge because that's well that's going to make my already big points lead just that much bigger. I'm not going to withhold on the um, rich fuel mix until I pit at the end of the following lap, not this one.
I also kind of want to be at a bit of a distance when I enter the pit lane so I don't actually smack into him. Which is the other reason why I'm not really aggressing on him. But even still, I think I might be too close even now. Unless he goes in this lap. In which case, then I will push like crazy. He do No, he does not. So I will do nothing. Okay, battery's looking good. You can use overtake to get past. Okay. I don't know what I did, but car didn't like it. No point with where I am. I'm not going to gain much from pushing now. I'm going to use the DRS. So I should be close enough anyway. Into the pits, I will go. Oh, it's not 37. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> go, go now. By the way, there are usually three seconds pit stops in real life. You know, I have some traffic. Oh, that's a lot of traffic. Oh, that's a lot of traffic. Hallelujah. Ah, get me away from that. <laughs> that is an amalgamation right there. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to look at this crap. I'm actually going to go back to the start of this sequence. Really shown this off before. It's like the fact that my car is all the way over there exiting the pits right now. And exit this turn, I'm going to start pushing. Go, 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 go! Gotta go fast. Hopefully we're not to contend too much with these three arguing up here. Hopefully at least most of them are pitting right now. Like at least one of the one of the three has to be going in right now. Ideally one for our and one racing point, but no, just the one Ferrari.
Bye! Can you even defend from me, Thrasher? Are you kidding me? Ah! Huh! Unfortunately, I could not corral him into the uh, five car group that was behind me, probably because they also went in. Just a second. Must be. And go. Oh, give me that. Beep. Goodbye. All skill. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now I just kind of maintain pace. Also, I can totally hear the aerodynamic pieces beneath the car are not having a great time down that straightaway there. That was my best sector one. Oh. All right. Where am I glad I put music over this because I totally forgot to commentate for the last like lap and a half or so.
Not great. And again, my commentary is still not much more interesting than the race, because... Other than that giant collection at the back... Uh, oh, there are three cars going to that little section right now. McLaren, two Ferraris. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's two McLarens. Oh, it's both. All four. Nani! Well, I know who isn't getting driver of the day. Okay, this time it's actually like not stop turning midway through the corner, shall we? Still my like like I'm still like my ultra gaming stance of like you know sitting way up on the chair and having to look up a TV. I don't know why I'm doing that still. This race is not all that intensive. Why can't I not just stop hitting that curb? I think you're catching me, Kadeem, but not when I switch into maximum overdrive. Hiya! Someone wants to turn my PlayStation through my earbuds. A little bit concerning. I know. I just heard the crowd, apparently. I think both me and him are pushing and using our like ERS and such right now. Which should mean we'll also run out at the same time. I don't remember that being a thing. I certainly didn't look that damage when I left at the beginning of the race, or whatever. He's run out of juice. That's my, that's my assessment, anyway. Really? I haven't been there the whole race yet. Ranging. Yeah, but just, just do you do you, you know?
I'm right, I think this is closer to me than um, Circuit of the Americas. This is technically my home track. It's a... Uh, it's not my home track, I guess, because it's not in America, but it's a shorter trip for me to reach Montreal than it is for me to reach Austin, Texas. It would not be easier for me to reach this track because it would require a passport because it's not in America, but... Yeah, I think it's going off distance alone. This one's closer. I also love how Jeff is like, try to keep the mileage on to a minimum. What am I gonna do? Just stop the car while I'm winning? Not really the best idea. Time down the big meaty straightaway. And there we go. Absolutely Calculated. Fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. Championship. Here's how things look in the driver's table. Vulcan increases their championship lead. Some amazing talents out on the track today. But Anthony, I know who isn't going. I know who is going to get it. Daniel Ricciardo certainly impressed me today. An incredible performance. It's that was not what I was thinking. I was looking at uh, Remo, who went up five spots. That gap is getting smaller. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Uh, yeah, so... What are you doing, Thrasher? You started third. Where was that lap now? Or any of that? No, you finished 13th. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got uh, Cam. We got Natsuki going from 15th to 10th to score. Passing her teammate along the way. And Cam went from 13th to 8th in an Alfa Romeo. And Remo goes from 9th to 4th. Marissa gets driver of the day because she went up one more place than everybody else. If I beat Tyler again at France, I will have double his points. Or if I win, he comes second, that is. Well, almost.
You know, realistically, if this were an actual like season of real F1 competition, the fans would literally hate me by now because I've won six of the seven races that we've run so far. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. I think. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? That was a close finish. How are things between the two of you? Do you think you were lucky not to end your race with that crash? Appreciate your time. I briefly forgot she reacts to the ones you correct flashbacks to. The crash that also did no damage, even if I did continue, or if it did, it did like, like maybe knocked a couple of winglets off or something. Didn't, didn't exactly break the wing off all of the way. It was just like tiny bits of damage, if it did any at all. Distribution could be in for France. I can see why that ring needs to be replaced. It's done 350 laps. <laughs> When it comes to the engine components, if I were in a pinch, I could just not simulate a practice session. And that way it would, you know, it wouldn't do like, what does it do like? Uh, I think it does like 24 laps throughout the practice session. Or something like that. Outside of the, um, and then no, it does like, then it does like another, uh, like 12 more. So yeah, it does like 36 laps per practice session. I think, or maybe 30. And then the race distance and qualifying. Of course. Oh, no rain. Well, then you'll just have to do it again. It'll put us with the best chassis when, if and when this um, ultimate goes in at uh, Germany. So there's still an entire other race in between there where nothing will happen. 